indirect proportions okay so indirect proportions as one variable goes up the other goes down what exactly does that mean so I have an example here let's take a look at this table it's saying number of people um, on this column the left column and it's a hundred dollar gift so basically what I'm trying to get at across over here is the higher the number of people goes the less each person has to give so let's say if I have two people and it's a hundred dollar gift every person has to pay 50 but now as the number of people increases the amount of money each person has to put down for that gift let's say if they're all splitting it is going down so when you have a scenario like that that's indirect proportion contrary to what that what a direct proportion is where when one number goes up the other number goes up as well in an indirect proportion when one one when one variable or one number is going up the other one's going down uh, so the formula that we have for indirect proportion is going to make it easy for you on the SAT for any kind of indirect proportion problem that you have will be x1 times y1 equals x2 times y2 so something I did down here was I left this variable blank so I know you, a lot of you guys can probably do this in your head okay so if there's 25 people it's a hundred dollar gift I know that you have to all pay four dollars each but let's see how we can also figure this X out if we didn't have the four dollars using just uh, let's see if I can ah, if I try to erase it, it's gonna erase the lines <laughs> I'll leave that okay so if I have let's say this is my x1 let's say that the 20 is my x1 and that's my y1 then I can say that that's my x2 and that's my y2 so using my x1 and y1 it'll be 20 times 5 equals my x2 is 25 but my y2 I don't know so I'll just call that y 20 times 5 is 100 100 equals 25y and then if I divide both sides by 25 and if I divide both sides by 25 obviously this side by 25 as well y will equal 4 and that's exactly what we did by just doing mental math, mental math and doing a ca calculation there but if these numbers are a lot tougher and something you can easily see you could use this formula right here x1 times y1 equals x2 times y2 uh, so that's indirect proportions